Welcome back. Today is December 30th of 24. One day before New Year and I have a fun project to share it with you. I will do some uh, fig pollination also known as caprification. In nature it is done by fig wasp but in this case I will do the wasp uh, job. I will use a syringe to hand pollinate. Three varieties, uh, I think uh, six figs total. So here first I'm going to show you these trees. This is Capo Kurt Negra. And now, by the way, I'm in a fig grow room. I have uh, some young trees growing now. And also I saved some of the trees from this season to experiment with them. This is one of them that I did not give a dormancy season. And so far this tree is uh, growing nicely. Since I placed it in a grow room probably in October, it did grow from this point here. Looks quite healthy. And also it's putting the new figs now. The bud is looking very nice and green. Here you can see the figs. I have six figs on this tree. Already had marked three. You can see those um, marked with the green tape. They are smaller. These uh, larger ones, they are already too large to be pollinated. Perhaps, maybe it is possible, but I like to see the difference if I do these smaller ones right there. There is one here also larger. I'm not sure about this one in the, on the bottom here. It grows from the base of the small branch. So it could be Breba. It is a little bit larger, but not sure. Also here I have uh, Iride, a small tree. It is old tree, but it's uh, just small, stunted. Here are two figs that are already too large. You can even see the osteol is changing color. I assume this will be, they will be ripe uh, sometime in uh, late January maybe. But the one in the bottom here is still smaller and uh, you can see here still a little bit larger than I would thought uh, or think it would be good. I had uh, pollinated uh, this season many many figs they were this size and they were successful so I think this one is going to be fine too. And here is uh, Black Celeste. This one here was a late season cutting I think I started it in August. So it does have uh, several figs here but uh, two of them are I think of a size that I can pollinate this one here and then that one there. I already marked those. You can see here at the base here the leaf there is a main crop already forming and also on this side I do have a Burns Brown Turkey that I'm awakening and uh, they already it's already growing now. It has uh, Breba there and also on the other branch right there. So I will also pollinate those. I'm interested to see how the Brebas will taste when it's when they are pollinated. And here is the pollen. I already had prepared solution. This pollen here, I don't know if you can see it maybe, let's see. There is a grain, pollen grain on the, on the bottom and I had collected some and placed it in this uh, shot glass right there. And here you can see pollen grains floating on the water. Just okay. Now you can see without the reflection. All right. There is plenty of pollen for these six figs. What I did, I'm using a two and a half percent. Uh, um, sugar uh, concentration, just a regular 
white sugar, tea needle just to puncture the figs before I insert the syringe. Last year I did it just with syringe straight and uh, it works most of the time but sometimes the, the opening will get uh, clogged with a pulp and uh, then it's more work to be um, taken out so I'm gonna use that tea needle to to widen the opening and here I'm gonna just do one fig here and uh, just to show you what the what is required and how this process goes first uh, well let me just uh, show you what I'm gonna do I will uh, shake this uh, shot glass with a pollen grain and uh, once it's uh, uh, released from the surface let's go back into the table and first show you this some from the surface actually that's what I'm gonna do Just shake So straight in the mid center of the osteole and that's it. And now I'm going to just uh, give as much and as soon as I see that the drop droplet coming out of the osteo that's plenty there I just did a little bit extra so you can see the solution coming out all right now I have to just repeat with these remaining figs and hopefully it will be successful I will share the results with you if they get ripe all right Thank you for watching and uh, Happy New Year. Bye-bye.